What's up guys, it's Kyle aka Goon Noodles back with another tech video and today I'm going to be showing you how to fix latency, lag, or Wi-Fi spikes uh, in a wired or wireless computer. Alright, now the reason I'm doing this video is because I recently purchased the Alienware 15 2015 edition, which I'll have a review for in about a week, and I was having some lag spikes, um, latency issues, and I know that a lot of people have the same issues, and sometimes they'll blame their ISP, or they won't know if it's the router causing the issue or not. And I was streaming on my Xbox One to my laptop, you know, using Windows 10, and I was getting severe lag, and I wasn't really sure what was causing it. And But when I hardwired my laptop to my uh, router, then it was, it was perfectly fine, no lag spikes whatsoever, it was 1080p, 60fps, it was running perfectly. And now I just want to make this video to show everybody to kind of diagnose their problems if it's their ISP, if it's wireless, if it's wired, if it's their laptop, if it's something else causing these issues. All right, now to start, we're going to make sure that all other devices are disconnected from the router as to not cause interference, because you never know if one has a virus or another device is wireless A or B and it's causing lag spikes or you know connectivity issues. So make sure every other device is disconnected from your router, or at least you know that they're not causing the issue. And then we're going to ping the router. And the reason we need to ping the router first is because that's the first thing we connect to before we connect to the internet or we connect to another computer. It has to go through the router, whether it's wireless or wired. And then once we know that there's no issues there, then we can move on and see what else is causing any lag spikes or issues such as other computers or our internet. Alright, so what we're going to do first is go to our router's IP address and try and find all um, connected devices and make sure that they're disconnected. And after that, we run a command prompt. See, I press Windows R to pull up uh, run and then cmd.exe is command prompt and then we're going to ping our local IP address and I'm at work so my IP address is actually different this is not what it usually is it's usually 192.168.101 is the default IP address and this will constantly ping the router that I'm connected to and you can ping at the same time say Google if you wanted to so right now this is the router and as you can see I got a spike there and I'm actually pretty far away from the router so one millisecond is basically as fast as you can get it less than one and see I'm getting spikes here and so this should correlate if I get a spike here I should get a spike on here as well Now, when you ping your router, you're just trying to get the millisecond response time and trying to see if you're getting a good connection. And when you ping it, it's sending a packet and sending it back, and that's the milliseconds in response that you're sending and receiving. And the best you can get is less than one. And if you're getting constantly less than one with no spikes after pinging it for, I don't know, a minute or two, I would say you're good. It's not your laptop's connection to the router. Now if you connect all your devices again and you're getting spikes, it's obviously something else that's causing it. You should do process of elimination and connect one device at a time so you can pinpoint where your problem is coming from. The computer. Um, go into your control panel and most of the time it's the driver for the Wi-Fi card or you know the computer, their network driver. Um, and you can check what one you're running and network adapters and right here is my Ethernet controller and my wireless and you can update the driver 
or you can manually roll back, update to a file that you get. Sometimes the newest one doesn't always work. Sometimes a really old one works. Sometimes the one without the software works best. Um, but that's all here, and you're going to have to try quite a few things. And then after that, you can decide what you're going to do, you know. Um, in my personal case, my laptop uh, was getting lag spikes, and the only way that I sought to fix it, the easiest way, is I reformatted my laptop, and I figured out that it was actually Alienware's autopsy, uh, some of the crap that they put on Alienware right when you get it. And that was causing lag spikes, so I reformatted it to Windows 10, made sure there was nothing on it, and now I don't have any lag spike issues.